How are you doing? Um, happy Friday. Happy hope, Friday. Hope your Friday is better than ours. <laughs> Ooh, we're going to be nice and raw and real with you all today. <laughs> hope you all are doing well. Yeah. We've got nine people on. Good. Things are working. Let us know if you can hear us and see us. Obviously, the, the beginning of a live stream stuff. All righty. Susie goes through. Yep. All right. Susie. So, yeah. Why are we live? <laughs> it's been, been a fun month. Yeah. So first and foremost, if you guys have been part of any of our courses or in any of our libraries of stuff, thank you so much for all your trust and hopefully all the value you've gotten from us. You might have received an email or two or 10 <laughs> in the last 24 hours or so. And that's kind of the purpose of this live stream yeah. is to explain what's going on. Number one, why we're doing it. Yeah. Number two. And number three is to get some real feedback from y'all on if we should continue to do this or not. We're gonna uh, we're gonna eat some humble pie and just make sure that we're doing what's right for, right for the customers, but also explain what is in our mind as we're working through this. Yeah, you guys come first. So if this transition that we're going through is not the perfect thing for you guys, um, we want you guys to be happy. Um, that's most important. We had intentions, but like you guys know. Um, not always your intentions aren't always the best thing. Um, I have intentions with my kids sometimes and it backfires. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> put in the comments, if you want to know on the personal side of things, what we're currently grappling with, but we'll stay, we'll stay business right now. Yes. It's been a hard decision. Anyway, that's what life is. You <laughs> go forward, you make decisions, you try to go forward in the right direction. And if you get feedback, the best thing is to do to listen to it and then kind of take a pause and make sure that are we still going in the right direction? So a little backstory is we've used Teachable since I started the business. So since 2015, Teachable, we posted our courses there and we've done um, used Teachable as our shopping cart. Then around 2017, 18, we plugged in Thrivecart to just be the shopping cart. So the courses were still hosted on Teachable. But Thrivecart's a shopping cart because it can have better upsells and downsells, and it was more robust than what Teachable was providing. So, okay, so that's what we've been doing for the last four years. Thrivecart is the shopping, Teachable is the, the platform where the students log in and access their stuff. Then last year, Thrivecart came out with their own learning management system. So in our minds, we're like, wow, we can combine everything under Thrivecart. It's one place for our VAs to log in. It's one place for us to log in. Um, also, as a recommendation for our students, Thrivecart is a better solution because it's a one-time fee where you have your shopping cart, your funnels, and you can host your courses that, or you can have it as your learning management system. So we're like, if we're going to recommend this to our students, let's use it ourselves, right? Let's go all in and use Thrivecart. Yeah, because, you know, Susie laid out a lot there, yeah. which is great. Nice. So just to slow down on a couple of points there. <laughs> One was, I'm generally the tech support guy of the team. And we get a lot of, hey, Sharif, we'd get a lot of questions coming in when people are trying to do what we've done, which is fantastic, what you should do, model success and all that good stuff. But people would say, hey, I'm having a hard time. I bought Teachable based on your recommendation. I bought Thrivecart based on your recommendation. And so they're out a good pretty penny in that process. And they're not able to get it to work. And, you know, so part of that is it's just complicated, you know, con uh, connecting two things together, but also all kinds of weirdness where you'd have to have this rather pricey uh, plan on Teachable to make the connections work. It just wasn't the most accessible solution for our audience. Yeah. And so on the one hand, we were suggesting, hey, let, we have a system that works, but let's tell them to do something else. Let's, you know, do as I say, not as I do type of thing. And we didn't want to go in with that. If we thought there was a solution that would work for you guys as our students, as well as us as business owners, we thought let's bite the bullet, let's make the change so that you could see kind of what we're working with. Yeah. Um, and I'll be honest with you, the migration process is a little bit messy. <laughs> it's it's a lot of work. We have 100,000 students that we're trying to import to a new platform. So with that comes some hiccups of people now getting emails that they're accessed on the new platform. They have a new login credentials that they have to set up. They have to create a new account. Um, they lose their progress that they had in Teachable. So if in Teachable in the course you had 50% progress, you're back at zero in Thrivecard Learn. So there's... There's pros and cons, right? There's the pro of us going all in on this platform and like what we recommend, we're going to do as well. But then it's also hard for our students to transfer. It's it's just hard to go to a new platform and have new logins and all that. So we're here to really get you guys' feedback. Um, 
are we at that point yet? <laughs> <laughs> sure. One thing I, I want to insert there okay. is if you're just getting started, if you're one of our students and you're taking our recommendations, we do highly endorse Thrivecart Learn and yeah. using the Thrivecart system. Like, it's just if you already have 101,000 students and counting, then it becomes a slightly different conversation to have. Yeah. So for anybody who's out there thinking like, are they flip-flopping on what they're telling us to do? No, we're trying not to. We're just thinking for the sake of our own students, what's the best for stability and all of that. And we have the keto goddess here. Hey, how's it going? As receiving some of those emails. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So many issues we've been having. You can't customize the emails. You can't even have them come from our <laughs> email address. And so it's a little tricky. Yeah, some trickiness. The, so yeah. the transition is hard. I think if we started off with ThriveCard and ThriveCard Learn, it would have been smooth because then that would have been the platform that we have. But transitioning after seven years and trying to take all these students with us is kind of tricky. So yeah, and Ryan, where um, I just read a little bit there, like where, for your honesty, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I know, yeah, it's, it's, it's a problem. We, we, we love our students. Yeah. That's why we're here to really see like, is this the right thing for you guys? Are you having a lot of frustration um, with the transition over? We have no issue with keeping Teachable as our learning management system and then continuing what we've been doing the last couple of years of having ThriveCard as our checkout and Teachable as the place where you log in and access your courses. Yeah, and honestly, part of the inspiration for us going live here, we're seeing uh, uh, Liz uh, saying, appreciating us coming out and being honest with it, is we've seen... Uh, in a bunch of different scenarios, a bunch of different companies, founders handle things differently. And we just want to make sure, you know, we're sitting there and we're getting a little anxiety going through the email inbox. We're like, I don't want this to reflect. And we also just don't want to impact you guys in a negative way. So we just want to get out there and get your honest feedback. We could go either way. We could continue on and complete this migration process. We could roll back or do a combination of the two. Really looking for, not the combination of the two. No, no. We're, we're picking one. Sorry, that was... <laughs> Stop there. Um, but just want to be out, up front with you guys. Um, and then we, so yeah, if you have any, if you've gotten those emails and you've gone through it, give us some feedback in the comments. Um, I'll also go ahead and share with you our, our little thank you coupon in just a second. Uh, we have some, a gift for you for going through with this, but we have some good feedback as well here. All righty. I mean, we, when everything wasn't teachable and students had to log into teachable, there were login issues of like, I need to have my password reset and then teachable sends a little code and you have to use that. And now they're having issues with ThriveCard. So there is just issues with logging into a system whenever. Yeah. So, I mean, that we've had that experience on both platforms just because like sometimes I forget my login credentials and then I, I don't know what email. Oh my gosh, for Peacock. <laughs> I, I couldn't log into Peacock for the longest time and we couldn't watch The Office. And it was um, it was very hard to finally get my account back. So I understand the issues. All right. Just going to put up a few things. I'm also going to add a chat overlay here so we can yeah. um, see as they're, as they're happening. So keep the comments coming. Keep the feedback going. Uh, let's see here. You know, somebody saying, all right. Exactly. Yeah. So people who are going through the same transition, I think a lot of people are looking at Thrivecart Learn as being an awesome alternative to mm -hmm. using Teachable. So it's it's a fantastic platform. It is growing. So yeah, we're all going through this together. Let's see what Ryan has Which to say is hard. here. Yeah. It is. Ben Super, yes, Thrive, uh, Thrive Apprentice 4.0. Uh, Another yeah. system. <laughs> <laughs> we're switching again, guys. No, no, <laughs> no. no. Yes, no. Thrive, Thrive Apprentice is an awesome looking system as well. A little bit techy. Uh, for a lot of folks, it's one of those where I, I like it a lot too, but I also know that we have to do the solution that we also think most people would be able to get and manage and do all that. So I'm with you there. Kelly says, go for the transition. It might kind of rocky, but I think in the long run, it will be better, especially if this is what you're recommending your students to do. That's good feedback. Zochil <sighs> says, my transition was smooth and I have almost everything you've created. Thank you. And that's also, so we've gotten a few emails in the inbox where it yeah. was bad feedback, but we also don't. We were not going to hear feedback if it was a good transition. So I think we also need a way that both. It's fine. Had no issues. Oh, is... Hi there, South African USA. <laughs> uh, Sherry mm -hmm. does bring up something good. It's kind of just help, something we can help with. Uh, if you do go with Thrivecart, is it tacky to host your videos on your private link YouTube? 
tacky. That's a good. That's a good word for it. Um, there's there's a few problems with doing YouTube for your premium content. One is they can just right click on it and say copy the link URL. So that's not ideal um, because you can't do it private. It would have to be an unlisted YouTube video, which means that if you have the link, you can access it. Uh, I do have a bunch of content, and we're going to be updating course by number with this recommendation as well. Bunny.net is extremely affordable, and it's extremely secure. And that's what we're using for a lot of our courses. And it's a bunny, which is, like, adorable. So, you know, you can't go wrong there. All right. So Sharif says, you you make a good point, um, that some people actually do like Teachable because they have a lot of other instructors and their courses on there. So that whole Teachable 1 login is actually nice for them. So that was one of the emails we got back today, but um, I'm glad it worked for you. The transition was nice for you. Yeah. Um, Do we have tech training on setting up Thrivecart funnels? Interspersed everywhere. Yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> yeah. We have, um, there's a Thrivecart funnel in printables by number for small digital products. There's one in services by number for yeah. doing your own services. And then there's one in course by number for doing online courses. Um, we have been toying around with updating funnels by number and just going, sharing all this stuff about the right part, right? You want to talk about that? Yeah, sure. It, yes. It's on our to-do list. We have had a lot of students that start with blogging and they understand what funnels are and then they start getting really excited about it. And so funnel by number is a course that we have kind of in staging right now. Like we need to put a bit more love into it before we release it to y'all. But obviously this is in our way. So once we are done with this uh, issue, that's what we want to get back to is just creating the content that you guys need and want. And so that is coming. It's coming this year. We're just getting through this big old hump right now in the road. Liz is saying going forward, she's like, the next 100,000 students won't even know the difference. It's a good point. It's hmm. a good point. Hmm. It's very forward thinking. I like that. Yeah, Liz. I'm very much sometimes I'm stuck and I'm like, this is working. It's not broke. Why fix it? And John's very much of the mentality of like, we can make this better. We can make this better. We can always continuously improve it. So it's a good balance between the two of us. Yeah. So that's that comment. I'll, some of these, Heather, that's an awesome comment. We're going to mm. put that up on the screen because so, we can't even read it all here. So let's keep working through. All right. Tatiana, login yesterday. Couldn't log in. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was spam. So printables by number isn't an ebook. So. If you want to email friends at freedombynumber.com, that sounds like something we might need to double check. So go ahead and send us an email with that information. We'll definitely get back to you. And while we're there, um, before we get into the Heather's awesome comment, coupon code. So (laughs) (laughs) I I hear like something negative. Ah, make people happy. (laughs) So again... We are just being honest with you guys. Like this has been a little bit of a stressful couple of days for us. Yeah. Not only we, we I, mean, I haven't even revealed all this stuff that's going on in our life. That's oh. a whole other video. You can't, you can't oh. share that yet. Spoiler alert. It's been no. a crazy month. Yeah. <laughs> but to help out, if you want, you can go to uh, freedomandnumber.com slash products. And if anything you want, we've never done a 50% off sale. No. We're doing it today. Just today. Because it's like, why not? <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's one day. One, one of them days. So coupon code migration on any of the checkout forms should take 50% off and you'll get, be enrolled into Thrivecart Learn. So you might migrate it back to Teachable <laughs> depending on how this conversation goes. Yeah. So far we're leaning towards keeping with the migration. I don't know. Liz right. made a good point. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what Heather has to say. That's so long it doesn't have it. Uh, can you open your screen? Make it bigger. Oh, no, now it's just, just that everything bigger. bigger. Heather, you might need to break that up into multiple. No, she's on Facebook. I'm going to find her on okay. Facebook. Okay. That's a good point. Um, that's what we all love about you while you're here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's good to be. Oops, today is good to be open. All right, open and honest. <laughs> yeah. Open and, and honest. don't don't pretend to be overly perfect, right? Show warts and all, right? Just be honest okay. with things. All right, I can see it. Heather says, "Thank you for your concern and consideration for your students. That's what we all love about you and why we're here. Thank you. Totally understand and accept your decision to move over and appreciate all the hiccups." I had an email from Thrivecart yesterday, and I thought it was spam. Great. Yeah. Then I got your email to explain why it was happening and went back to my spam folder and finished it out. Great. So it actually delivered to your spam folder? That's not good. That's not good. I signed up and accessed the courses straight away, no problem. I have had six more emails from Thrivecart today letting me know how to access my new courses. I'm not sure if that's because I've got a number of your courses, so that hasn't bothered me. Thank you. Two more emails popped through while I'm writing this. <laughs> Just a teething problem glitch. I'm sure. No problem at all. Have teething fun problem. with this new system. Keep up the good work and thanks for everything you do. We love you guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So 
Go ahead. So for every course that you enrolled on Teachable, you'll get an email for every single course. Um, so as we export them out of Teachable, like all the blog with number students, then we take that export and we put it into Thrivecard and that slowly imports them into Thrivecard. And then that sends emails just for blog by number. Then we do an export for printable by number and we do import it into Thrivecard and then you'll get your second email. So if you are enrolled in seven, 12 different products that we have, you're going to get those many emails. We've gone seven ways since Sunday of trying to figure out a way to do it without all the emails, yeah. talk to Thrivecart and themselves. Sorry, nothing we can do at this point. We could. We could send everybody one email if we do an individual import of 100,000 people. So 100,000 imports. Let's pull it back a little bit. We we're, could. We're getting a little too geeky here. <laughs> we could do it. <laughs> Oh, but Yelena, all got almost all of our courses, got a bunch of emails. You're in tech support yourself. You get it. Thank you for Thank your you understanding. Guys. Okay. I have a lot of products. Let's put a few more up here. Uh, God's Bow says, do you have a course on how to write blogs step-by-step? Step? Yes, we do. It is called Blog by Number. So um, and you can get it for 50% off today. <laughs> hey. Yay. Coupon um, code migration. Yeah. There's stickers on my shoe. Um. Uh, there's not another in the blog world like you do. Yeah. I spend money on programs that I've never made progress. Susie and so there you go. Susie and John, I feel you hold hands. I feel like you hold our hands. Thank you for always trying to make it the best possible for your students. Thank you, Melinda. Very kind. Thank you. Let's hold hands. Let's do it. Yeah. On, on camera. Yeah. No, I just, I, I was going through the inbox this morning after getting at least somewhat of good, decent sleep last night. And we'll reveal why later. Um, <laughs> But, and I saw a couple emails that people, they weren't mad. They were just a little confused yeah. on like, how do I log in? I'm getting emails. And cause I sent that one email letting people know that we're doing the migration. And I also mentioned it in last week's broadcast, but people do miss things. Like a lot of emails come in. So when I saw a couple confused students, I'm like, John, we need to go live. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure that we, we connect with people. Yeah. Ryan, uh, thank you. A nice little opportunity for a plug there. Uh, some watching now may not be current clients. Want to share the best landing page for us to look at and join you. Oh, thanks. So we have a few different places online. We're streaming right now to YouTube and Facebook. And so you can check us out anywhere there. If you just search for either Start a Mom Blog or Unbeatable Tech, you'll find our stuff on those platforms. And then also you can go to uh, either startamomblog.com if you're interested in getting started with the writing side of things or if you're just looking to get geeky uh, you can go to unbeatabletech.com and check out what we're working on these days what is the lp address what's lp little product launch kit uh what's lp landing page i would think what's the l what's the landing page LP. address yeah uh, just type in yeah just um, go to freedomynumber.com and you can find anything else from there <laughs> just find this or google my name <laughs> all righty let's see here just pull something else up here uh, thank you yeah thanks lisa <laughs> And thank you for all your support. Okay, so we, yeah, do you teach SEO for blogs, especially Shopify blogs? We, I know how to manage Shopify. Um, I've done it for a couple of shops, but I don't teach especially just Shopify blogs, but I do teach blogging in general and how to find a good keyword and then rank um, in Google so you get organic traffic. That is covered in blog by number. Yeah, because realistically, uh, SEO for Shopify, SEO for WordPress, uh, SEO for anything, it doesn't matter. The, the platform is really secondary. The practice is primary of what you do and how you find those keywords and rank your content. All righty. Carla, it's hard to log in with Thrivecart when you have a lot of courses from different owners better than Teachable. So wait, better than Teachable. I'm confused. It's hard to log in with Thrivecart when you have a lot of courses. I would ask for a follow-up on that. So is Thrivecart better than Teachable or is Thrivecart complicated? Because we're, we're, we're mixed. That whole my Teachable thing is kind of tricky as well. Like I have issues with logging into Teachable, but the password reset with Thrivecart is a little tricky because they email you twice. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing is perfect, guys. Just There's just no perfect system. Except for the next system that comes out. No. That system's going to be the perfect system. <laughs> Never switching again. Um, I love this little comment. It's so funny. Uh, I think you have all your products runs to go check. <laughs> yeah. So Maureen says, um, well, we still have access to the free products that we have access to on Teachable. Yes. I am thinking that our Teachable account, um, 
we'll keep that active forever. I think we can. And then you'll just forever have access to the stuff on Teachable, but we'll keep the things updated on the future platform. So if we keep with the migration and we continue going with Thrivecart Learn, the updates to the courses and all new courses will be on Thrivecart Learn, but everything you have access to in Teachable, you'll still have access to. Definitely. Yeah, logging into Teachable is great. Uh, and then bookmarking and all that. And then hopefully you don't clear your cookies. And you go, yeah, it, it, the login process. But it's also for a good reason. The internet is a crazy place. And so it's, it's important these days to make sure you have good security there. Right. Carla. No idea what you're doing on Thrivecart. Can't get into it from the I'm first good. migration. Okay. So from if you have any issues getting in, you should be able to click on login.freedombynumber.com and then click on the forgot my password button because you're there. If you got the email, you're in the system and you might have just missed the uh, reset your password email you got. So you click forgot password and put in the email address that you used to use when logging into Teachable. And then you should be able to follow that whole forgot password process. If that doesn't work, you go ahead and email friends at freedombynumber.com and we'll be back there with you. I'll take Rachel's. Rachel's. Okay. When I go through the course and blog, my number does it cover how to tell my audience how to download the digital product. I'm struggling with how to manage those instructions and what I need to do. So, when we started the by number courses, our mentality was to split up the different teachings into smaller courses so we can price them accordingly. So we don't have one massive course that teaches everything from A to Z um, that's $1,000. We have smaller courses that's at a more reasonable price. So blog by number teaches you blogging and SEO and how to grow your email list through blogging. Then um, it touches on monetizing your blog as well. But if you really want to get into digital products and where to sell them, how to market them, then get printables by number. So a lot of people transfer or transition from getting blog by number, starting their blog, building up their, their audience, understanding their audience, and then getting printables by number with selling their first small digital product. So between those two, that would cover what you need. Yeah. And that's also... When you get that big, massive course, it's extremely overwhelming for a lot of folks. So by also pricing it where it's accessible to everybody and breaking down just a smaller chunks, so you can make more progress. Okay, I've got my blog going. I've got traffic. Now I'm ready to monetize and things like that. So hopefully that's helpful. And I love this, Leah, as well. Nothing worth doing is ever easy. <laughs> like this dog? No. <laughs> I still kind of like the dog. <laughs> it's just a lot of work. Oh All right. Gosh. Great question. <laughs> Keeping it sustainable. I love that name as well. Where do you find your courses to take advantage of 50% off using coupon code migration? Um, Teachable or Thrivecart. Just go to freedombynumber.com slash products or just go to freedombynumber.com. It's there in the menu. And anything there uh, is going to have that applied. So, or you can apply the coupon code. It'll work. Yeah. That links to all the sales pages of the stuff we have. Yep. And here's the coupon code for anybody. Can you put the freedombynumber.com slash products on there? Oh, sure. Let's go into the chat. Oh, thanks, Yelena. Yeah. I just put into the chat everywhere um, our product page. You can go check those out if you'd like. All righty. Yelena or Yelena? I'm not sure. You know. um, yeah, I'm glad you appreciate our strategy. It ends up making it really hard on us. Yes, because, it's like, so hard. It would be, and we look at other people who have these two thousand dollar courses, and it's one course, and oh. that's it. It's like, golly, that sounds so simple. But we also yeah. we know our audience, and we don't want to uh, make people take out loans or things like that to get in and, and get going. So it's a strategy we took on intentionally, even though it makes it multiple like multiplications of complexity that we have to deal with. But more okay. courses, more funnels, more checkouts, more students, more yeah. fun. <laughs> more support tickets. <laughs> awesome. Me for his glory. I'm launching a Shopify store for printables and I cool. want to use blogging for marketing slash Pinterest purposes. Is blog it, The blog is secondary to the store. Which course would you recommend you try first? We would recommend go with printables by number. We'll be honest with you. We teach WooCommerce and Thrivecart on those courses. Um, the reason being because most of our students come from a blogging background and WooCommerce is an easy thing just to tack on to it. But also, 
as you well know, Thrivecart is kind of our, our bread and butter, and we really prefer that system for selling any digital product. Uh, but you will still learn all the goodies of marketing and selling printables. So they'll learn how to market it, but if you actually want to do blogging or Pinterest, that's more in blog my number. That's what she's asking. I want to use blogging for marketing and Pinterest purposes. That's more in blog by number. She says you want to Shopify. So the blog is secondary to the store. So she's really yeah. focused on the store side. Okay. So if you <laughs> it depends uh, on which focus you have. If yeah. you want to grow the blog for organic traffic, get blog by number. If you want to make sure your pin- your printables are marketable, <laughs> then get um, printables by number. <laughs> Woo! At least they're both reasonably priced. And for now, you can get them both for 50% off. <laughs> so I would just snag them both. Buy, right one, now, buy one, get one free, baby. They're BOGO <laughs> right now until the end of the day. All <laughs> right. Question comes in from Carla. Will all your bonus content move to the Thrive Heart Learn? Uh, yes. Yes. All the courses. We're still in the process. One little fun fact. It takes a little while to import a big list of 15,000 students from System A to System B. I would expect it to just upload it and be done. No, it takes like a couple hours, which is why emails are kind of floating in throughout the day. We're just like queuing it up. So long story short, uh, yes, all the courses that we are updating and maintaining will make the move, including the Thrive Card bonus there. All righty, let's just kind of click through some things. Was she the same person as the Shopify? I'm not. No. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Love, love, love digital products. What's the difference between small product launch or little product launch kit probably versus printable spend number? Thank you for the discount code. Question mark. <laughs> so did she thank us for the thank discount you. code or did she not thank us? I think she tried. <laughs> she, I had confusion towards the end there, but. <laughs> oh man, I need some humor. Yeah. Um, That's what life's so all about. Little product launch kit gives you the high level steps and the templates to actually make your printables business like it's like a boost. It's like the nitro you put in your car, which I have no idea what that is. Like hit the NAS button. The NAS button, yeah. <laughs> um, so if you already have a printables business or a small digital product business, getting Little Product Launch Kit would be a great add-on because it's going to give you your sales page template, your email templates, your little product templates, and the steps that you need to follow. If you need instructional videos more hand-holding, more step-by-step, click-by-click instructions, then get the big course called Printables by Number. If you just need a little boost of a pack of templates and um, some instructions, then get Little Product Launch Kit. Awesome. Exclamation point. Yeah. Let's see what's going on here. Finally, have a digital products. Going to launch imperfectly. Is landing site only to start? Okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, you mean just having a landing page and not having a big... Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Especially, um, you know, one thing that it took us a couple of years to really kind of understand ourselves as we were building it was a blog is essentially a traffic source. Uh, sometimes we think that the blog is the business, the business is the blog, and they're one and the same. But in reality, you get traffic however you want to. If you like YouTube, you, can, you don't need a blog. You can have a YouTube channel and send them traffic to your landing sites or landing pages. Uh, so absolutely, um, there's different ways to go, different speeds everybody's comfortable with. That is totally fine. The blog gives me anxiety. <laughs> We should start a Facebook group for that. <laughs> High anxiety bloggers. Because it, it's a, it's a true thing. A support thing. group. Yeah. <laughs> My stuff's not ranking. Um, <laughs> Liz says, <laughs> if you... St- <laughs> Hi, I'm John. I'm on the third page of Google. <laughs> <laughs> I've been stuck on the third page. Okay, Liz, right there, um, is saying, if you stay with Thrive Heart Learn, will you do a new course? We'll I- certainly update yeah. course by number. Yeah. Uh, because that would be a recommendation shift. We don't. We try not to change our recommendations lightly, so we're really stress testing it yeah. <laughs> right now. But yes, uh, at the bare minimum, if you do sign up for Thrivecart Learn or Thrivecart using our affiliate link, you'll get access to the Thrivecart bonus. <laughs> and we already do have uh, tutorials built into that one. But inside of our main course by number, we're just doing some stress testing before we change out any uh, what's already existing there. <laughs> Thank you, Annie. Thanks, Annie. Annie's going crazy. It's awesome. Thank you. It's getting really warm in this room. We need to get a fan in I here. I know. I'm and it's February. Oh, Lord. Okie doke. Good morning, Karen. Let's see here. I put it off way too long. Right. Blog isn't the business. Not yep. the total, yeah. It could be. Like Your business could yeah. be as simple as just affiliate marketing and SEO, and that's great. But um, One day. We like digital products. One day. Alrighty. And um, good morning, Karen. <laughs> good morning. 
It's still morning? Oh, no. It's no. afternoon here. Good afternoon. Or good, good afternoon. morning to you. Good afternoon over here. To us. Eastern Standard. Yeah. It's hot in Florida. Oh, man. Okay, guys. I Are we getting a clear answer no. to move over, move forward with the transition? Or are we just... just I'm just not getting a 100% decision here. What do you think? From here, it seems like everyone's on board with us moving forward. If they were upset with us, they wouldn't be on the live stream. So Maybe they would. <laughs> could be biased. Would. Does the course tell us... Oh, let me see here. Another tech question. Yes. Does the course tell us how to send the download to our customers? Yeah. Certainly. If you're in Printables by Number, just selling like a small digital file, we show you exactly how to set it up and do either shared or you know download files, as well as if it's a course, how to view and watch the course and all of that stuff. Yes. Oh, Carla wishes it was easier for us. <laughs> oh, we're not digging ditches. We uh, it's it's been stressful, but uh, no, we're not we're not, we're not complaining. It's we're not like, we're not complaining. No, it's more like a mental weight. To are we? Are we doing the right things for you guys? Are we spending our time on the right things? Like just constantly thinking about our students is, is yeah. like thinking about your kids all the time. So, so great, Ryan. Thank you for that prompt. Uh, if you're just joining Ryan's us, and, helping and, us stay on track. Yeah, he's like, stay on track, guys. <laughs> if you're just joining and you don't know what the heck we're asking you for feedback on, the question is. Teachable versus Thrive Cart Learn. We're in the process of moving over 100,000 students from Teachable over to Thrive Cart Learn. And it's been a little bit of a hiccup along the way. And we just wanted to see if you guys still like us. <laughs> and if, if <laughs> what are we asking them? Um, should we continue <laughs> with the migration to move all our courses over to Thrive Cart Learn? Um, the pro, the big pro is the system that we recommend to you guys will be using ourselves 100%. It's more cost effective for our students. Um, so when we recommend to them, here's ThriveCart, you can host your courses with, or it can, it can be your learning management system. It can be your funnel builder and your shopping cart and your affiliate program. Like there's a lot in ThriveCart um, that's a benefit. So we want to use the system 100% that we recommend. But there is some confusion as we're moving students from Teachable into ThriveCart Learn of like login issues. I'm not seeing all my courses, all of that. So the question is, do we continue with the migration and deal with the hiccups as we're going along with them? Or do we continue having teachable, um, <laughs> cause I'm not going to read it for students, but even regardless, we're still going to have teachable. You can always still log into it and access your stuff there. Just yeah. I'm sorry. I oh have to. Gosh. You were too serious over there. Carla's watching us test with Sam Cart Teachable. I've been thinking about Thrive Cart, but it's so confusing. Thrive Cart, Thrive Leads, Thrive Tacos. <laughs> I don't know. We have Thrive Desk now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody's just Thrive. Thrive Tacos. I guess that would be what AppSumo would be Thrive Tacos, right? Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. I think continue with the migration. Thank you. Okay. Me for his glory saying that. Mm. I like that, Ryan. Just provide some how-to videos, and we, we could take some have a, a page that explains mm. everything a little bit better. I think we have some humor to make the transition easier. You're the, you're the funny one. Oh no! <laughs> Give me all this text reminding me to continue using. Hey, there you go. See, Jones, that is a fantastic point. All these emails you're getting is just telling you, hey, you've got some courses hey, to complete. You bought something two years ago. And, and go take it. <laughs> guess what? You're back to zero percent if you're on Thrive Cart Learn now because unfortunately we can't keep all that. Uh, but that being said, if you are fifty percent through a course, whatever course it is, go ahead and continue it yeah. on the platform you started it with. It's still going to be there for you. Um, and then just once you're completed, then you can have the archive in the newer platform yeah. for the updates. All right. So what are we doing? Um, and they're, they're saying we, we go with it. Your color coordination is, is ace. Was that planned? Yes. So normally I'm always in red. Red gives me a little bit of confidence. I really need it today. And you're normally in black or blue. Cause I'm boring. No. And I'm always bruised and beaten. No, it just looks good on you. <laughs> I like you. I like you in green too. I like you with outer shirt. These are actually our hex codes, by the way. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> hey, keep, we're going to get censored. Come on, they're gonna now. Carla's saying, "Do it!" Oh my goodness! <laughs> I don't think she's talking about what I just talked about. Oh, okay. Oh no. yeah, I think there's some no. lag. Yeah, there's lag. She's talking about the vacation. <laughs> some goodies to help us make a decision for us to possibly transition. 
Mm, yeah, like it's it. um, it's definitely a beast to transfer so many students. <laughs> um, if you only had like two hundred students, which is awesome, which is great, yeah, then the transition would be easier to a new platform. So, if you're thinking about changing, and I've told this to my students too, if they're thinking about changing their blog name or whatnot, do it early. Like if you're, if it's on your heart and you want to change to a different platform, go ahead and make the change before you're seven years into it and you have a hundred thousand students. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm loving this chat um, scroll thingy on the side here. All right. What's All Karen right. saying? Yes, Karen. Karen Lyons, where you at? There you are. So Karen's asking, well, if we now log in and set up an account with Thrive, all the courses should eventually show yeah. up. Yes. Yes. That is going to happen. Um, it's just a matter of, I've got like 34 different Excel files to upload. So they are coming. Um, if you happen, and this has happened to some like fringe students uh, where they happen to buy things with two different email addresses, mm -hmm. you guys are in like the, sorry, the worst position because you'll be getting a lot of emails. Like let's say you had blog by number on two different emails, you're probably going to get two individual emails from Thrivecart about that because yeah. it doesn't know that you, that it's the same person. You know if you I mean? had two accounts on Teachable, you're going to have two accounts on Thrivecart. Yeah. And we will go through the process of consolidating your account if you want that. Um, just send us an email and let us know all the email addresses that you have <laughs> and then we'll consolidate it and then let us know which email address you want it all on. Okay. So if you like, here's the three I have accounts on, I want it all in this one. And then we can do that for you. It will be a manual process, but we can do it. We have the power. All right, let's see here. Started Sam Cart and uh, not your favorite. 12 years in. Interesting. When Sam, everybody's doing this right now. Everybody, like Sam Cart had their course platform. Yeah. Right part. Uh, we took a, a brief look at Sam Cart and decided it wasn't for us. I think for the problem we had when yeah, we were looking at that it. one, we couldn't import students at the time. Oh, yeah. And we're like, we're like, yeah, I ain't going to have them. Although, in hindsight, it would have been so easy <laughs> to not have to do all of this. Can't import them. Yeah. I'm sorry. Anyways. And then let's see here. You, do you still have students enrolling in Teachable? And then not really. So every now and then somebody will slip in and find a hidden checkout page on Teachable. Uh, but we're trying to stop that. Yeah. All righty. Yeah. See. There's a lot of back doors to go close. And I'm like, oh, we're still making small sales on Teachable. We definitely have to go find where that is and close it. Jackie's confused. Purchase some courses. Don't believe you've gotten them to Teachable. Gotten them. In. Yeah. If you've purchased anything recently from us, we've made the transition where new, new customers – are all in Thrive Cart Learn. Yeah, so we you're did, all good. We did that like around the beginning of the year and then life has been crazy. So uh, we're now at the point of closing loops. So you're fine, Jackie. You're going to not have any frustration. And you we should think about -okay. also a lot of our new customers, they don't even have any context as to what we're talking yeah. about. So, so these are for our students from before this year. Anybody who bought in 2022, you guys are golden. You're ace. You're good. Um, anybody before that, they have some courses in Teachable, which is just a different platform. So we're deciding where do we consolidate all our teachings. Yeah. And assuming we follow through with this migration, which it sounds like we are, there will be an awesome case study <laughs> that we will publish about all the like gritty details for you. So Sherry asks, um, you love Teachable, but everyone seems to be transitioning to Thrivecart. The promise of simplicity is a very nice promise. And and anytime you can reduce the number of connections, the number of tools you're using. Or payments. And monthly fees. Yes, certainly. Um, it, it does make sense. Uh, so it's just, just a pain in the butt in yeah. the short term. Yeah, it's just hard for us to recommend Teachable and Thrivecard for our students because Thrivecard is a one-time payment. Um, and then Teachable is a monthly payment. So recommending that to our students is just too much. So... We want to make sure that what we recommend, we use ourselves. To the best, yeah, to the extent it makes sense. All right, 12 courses of ours and working through and understand that transition comes with hiccups, but this move will benefit all of us in the long run. I am anxiously looking, looking forward to it all getting transitioned over so I can have access to my courses in one place. P.S., your affiliate link for the Start Monblog course is already yep. in the Thrivecart and Living Room. Yep. Our affiliate program has moved over to Thrivecart a long time ago. If you are still an affiliate and you have your teachable links, email friends, we'll make sure you're all, all good to go. Yeah, but that transferred over about three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's see here. 
when everything's uploaded for everyone, then maybe close out on Teachable. We would likely, we're going to double check that everything would work this way, um, but I think we should be able to just downgrade our plan, but uh, that's stuff for us to figure yeah, out. Yeah, so you guys will still yeah, you won't have be access to your old stuff on Teachable, just so that we make sure that everybody's happy. <laughs> it's okay, Leah. If you use multiple courses, we got your back. Um, you obviously deserve to have things consolidated yeah. and all of that stuff. Yeah. Ooh, good question. How is their tech support at Thrivecart? Carla, good question. Um, I have a good relationship with Thrivecart. I, we email back and forth. I'll send them. If I find a bug, I'll send it in. I'm, I'm the kind of guy, I will find a bug. If there's a bug in the software, I'm going to find it. And um, they tend to be, do a very good job. At, um, they get back to me within 24 hours pretty much um, without fail. Uh, and then getting solutions because the beauty of like a software as a service, it's not like it's a, a WordPress plugin or anything. Like It's its own thing. If they have a problem and somebody identifies it, they fix it. They fix it for all their thousands of users. So they're, they're pretty quick at fixing bugs. Uh, as far as like developing new features, uh, they could be faster. Everyone could be faster, but they, they have a very solid platform. Karen's a good question. Is the part free to use slash login or do we have to pay to use it to log in for courses? Great question. Um, it is 100% like it's not free because you bought our course, but you're you're given an access. You don't need to pay for the Thrivecart platform. We paid for that. You paid for the course and you can access that. Similarly, I've gotten this question in our help desk. If you want to sign up as an affiliate, you don't need to buy Thrivecart to yeah. be an affiliate for us. That is a little confusing. Um, simply, we have an affiliate process inside of all our courses where you can get access to. So no worries there. Uh, you only need to pay for Thrivecart if you're planning on selling using the Thrivecart platform. Hope that clarifies that. You want to take this one? Um, yeah. So Thrivecart offers a one-time fee. Um, they do not host your courses. They manage them. So it's a learning management system. It doesn't that's true, right? Mm -hmm. I'm using the right terms. Okay. doesn't host. We use bunny.net to host our courses. And I think the last month costs about five, $6 a month. So it's, it's very affordable to host all our courses there. So that the previous question that we had, you don't have to host them on as unlisted YouTube videos. You can use that system and you can also use that system to host your um, downloadables. So your printables and your eBooks and so on. Yep. Uh, would we use Wistia? No, I've looked at them. I think their pricing plan is like $100 per month and it just don't make no sense to me. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Um, Bunny.net is very easy to use. Yeah. You drag your, you drag, take your video from your computer, you drag it over to the little browser, it uploads, it gives you a little code. You copy the code, you paste it into uh, your course and you're done. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Google, boost us up. Thank you for thank that. Thank you guys. Thank you. It's Thank very you. kind of you. All right. What's the next one on the list? Let's see here. Yes, New Zealand. Love the Kiwis. Let's see. Yeah, sorry about all the emails, Tessa, coming through. Mm, Susie, would yep. you recommend the Printable Power Pack if they already have Printables by Number? Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely. So Printable was, Printables by Number is your overall course, how to create printables, how to sell them, how to market them, how to make your full-time income off small digital products like Printables. If you need more inspiration, more ideas, more templates, then get the printable power pack, which you can use the code right now and get that for 50% off, which was very generous of you. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I would definitely get the power pack because from that you can make a hundred more different types of printables that you can use either as freebies or as products or as bonuses for your other um, products that you have or courses or as incentives. It's just so many ways that you can use these small products or as tripwires. I know it's upsells, downsells. You're using all the terms they might not know. I know, but <laughs> my, they can go read my blog. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a, a good question. I'll try to be thoughtful in the answer. If you only plan on ever selling low price printables, then should you stick with Sendout or take the leap over to Thrivecart? It's a very good question. Here's what I would, a couple things I would, uh, angles I would take this answer at. Angle number one, if you only sell low price products, then that monthly subscription fee, um, first of all, first off, if you're only selling low price products, it might seem insane to, to buy the Thrive Cart because it's a bit of a pricey package up front. Okay. So you're totally wise. What you could do is if you already have a blog, you could just install the WooCommerce plugin and sell without having a, any real investment there and start saving up the money. Let's say if you sell $100, you take $50 for yourself and $50 you put into your fund to 
upgrade your system when the time comes. I think over time, you're going to want to upgrade to a more premium uh, selling platform for the main reason of if your products cost $8, I want you to be able to make more than $8 when you make a sale. And with Thrivecart, you have the ability of doing upsells, which is like once they buy, you can sell them a big bundle for $35 and turn your $8 sale into a $50 sale and little things like that. And uh, that's, that really does change the game when you're selling with uh, without having a ton of traffic. So Sendal is fine. Um, of the of the platforms, Sendal is not my favorite, but it's it's affordable and it's accessible. So do whatever you can and save up for, for a better platform if, if you see the need to. Yeah. Like six years ago, we started with Sendal. We used yeah. it for a couple months and then we transitioned. Um, but even with printables, you can go, if you have a funnel building software, you can go from your printable to a bundle to maybe a subscription. So now not only are they getting that front end printable, they're getting the bundle and then potentially they're becoming a monthly member to your printable subscription. And that's another thing that you can think about to grow a business that's just small digital products. Definitely. All right, uh, we'll do a few more. Um, is Thrivecart good for coaches and service providers? Uh, yes and no. Um, <clears throat> Thrivecart is good if you want to be able to sell things on autopilot. So let's say, for example, you have a monthly membership and you're a coach, but you do like one to many. Thrivecart fits perfectly for that. You can sell subscriptions, you can sell annual plans, monthly plans, split pl- split pay, all these different things. And it works great for that. Um, on the service provider side, I've done a lot of service work over time and oftentimes every charge is different. Like I might charge $1,000 this month and $200 next month and all that. I would use something like either PayPal and you use it for free and just send them an invoice or you could do uh, like QuickBooks and set up invoices like that. Uh, If you have standard packages where you like, I'll sell you, I'll build a website for you for a thousand dollars. Thrivecart would work fine, but I wouldn't want to go and change the pricing on Thrivecart a whole bunch of times. It's just not really how it's meant to be used. Let's see. Am I writing it right? I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, you're good. Okay. So this wasn't our intent yeah. for to like sell Thrivecard, but if you guys do want to get Thrivecard, that is our affiliate link in the in the chat. Um, we were mostly just here to ask if we yeah, should no, continue with the transition. We're not being promotional or anything, <laughs> yeah. but I think they're asking for it, and um, and it does. One of the things that's nice about it now is that the Learn platform. We it thought it was going to be a paid add on. Um, it has a free tier, which does everything you would need if you're getting started. Uh, the Learn Plus, like the little paid add-on, is like 200 bucks for a lifetime. And that allows you to do all the import features and some of the advanced stuff, which is cool. And the import is necessary for us. Okay. How do we get the discount? Uh, you can get the discount by going to freedombynumber.com slash products <laughs> or just any place that you know to buy Susie's products and uh, coupon code migration is 50% of everything. I have it expiring either today or tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. Just want to make sure that it's not just one day. Yes, we have an audiobook. Yes. It's John's voice. You need to listen to me for a few hours. Beautiful voice. I listen to it all the time, this voice. <laughs> we should play it for the dog. Maybe the dog will sleep the night. Morning to night. Put on like half time speed. All righty. And then you build a funnel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ryan, have a great time. Have a nice uh, shopping spree. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Really appreciate it. All righty. Um, I... Keto had one. Keto. It's right here. There we go. Oh, you can't see it. I, I just oh, sorry. The um, which course, I have them all, is best to launch? Printables by number or LPL launch kit? If you have them both, then I would use both of those combined at the same time because Printables by number is the course with the tutorials. And Little Product Launch Kit is the templates. So as you go through the lessons, you can grab the templates from the Little Product Launch Kit. I would use them both. Um, I would also use the checklist that's in Little Product Launch Kit and just go through that step-by-step and make sure you're checking off all the boxes as you go through it. Awesome. So I think we've got a lot of feedback. <laughs> Carla, Carla's like, no, the dog will not sleep. It's too young. I know. I, I, know. I stopped smiling when I read that comment. I was like, <laughs> mm, don't give us truth, Carla. Give us hope. <laughs> Oh, can we see the fur baby? Okay, they're asking. Okay, okay go for okay, it. Get the, fur. <laughs> get the fur baby. Thank you guys for all the great feedback. We've got 40 people on. This is fantastic. This is working well. Fur baby is coming. I hear the... I'm going to turn the chat overlay off, but please keep giving us our chats so we can put them on the screen. Little man is coming. Oh, boy. Did you wake him up? Yeah. Yeah, you might have to go potty. 
Yeah. <laughs> he just woke up from a nap. It's like, what's going on here? Now you're stressing him out. And he's live streaming. Look, we're here. Everybody say hello to uh, Simba. <coughs> Little man Simba. <laughs> just broke my desk. Simba. Oh. There he is. Yeah. Hey, little guy. We just had a long walk before going live as we were talking about what we're going to say here today. And he has pooped from his walk. Hey, little man. He's got hiccups. He's got hiccups. Oh, goodness. Look at him. He stays up all night to have some peace from the kids. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're working with the kids. Sometimes they like their Legos more than the dog, which is really a bummer for us. <laughs> we're working on that. We really thought this dog would be more engaged with. <laughs> but he is adorable. I know. Oh, little guy. So if um, if we ever have any typos in our blog posts or in our emails, it might be because he's sitting in our lap as we're working. He's just so, he's so lovey. He's very soft. <laughs> and still a little lazy. Yes. Are we going to get dog training classes? Yeah. We are working on it. My mom actually for 35 years ran a dog boarding kennel and she professionally trained dogs for the Southeastern guide dogs and like the seeing eyes for the blind, all those programs, pause with a cause. And she's a very good dog trainer. So um, we're actually in our guest room right now. We're renovating the office a little bit, but uh, she was going to come down and stay with us. She retired recently. So I want her to come down and get get him standing at attention for us. (laughs) Alrighty, you ready to go and yeah. continue? So maybe we should What's talk the after the live. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah. So I, I think we're feeling from what people are saying here that we should go ahead and do it because in the long term, it'll be the right thing for the students. Um, it's just going to be a, a couple weeks of hiccups. He's got hiccups now. No, he just stopped. It's all good now. <laughs> like they have puppy food. All right. So one last question. Uh, LPL. Or printable power pack if you have the printable banana course. The printable power pack doesn't have tutorials on setting up yeah, the things. It's, okay. So you want to answer that? Um, if you already have the course, then you have the instructional videos. Um, if you if you just need more printables templates, then go with the power pack. If you need the sales page templates, if you need more steps, if you if you're still a little bit lost, then I will get LPL. If you know what you're doing and if you're set with the course, then go ahead and get the printable power pack. Or you get them both because you get them for 50% off right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just makes sense, Bogo. It's, it's just fun. All righty. And then good positivity. Appreciate you guys. Um, we're going to have a little chat. Maybe toss a Frisbee for Puppy, although he's he's not going to chase anything. Oh, yeah. That was a long walk. <laughs> He's done. He's all done. I know. And we will be talking to y'all real soon. Thank oh, no, you for look joining at that. us. See, oh. he sits like this. I know. Smell my puppy breath. Oh, that's cute. Oh, <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> all right, y'all. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you all very, very soon. Thank you. Bye.